What is going on lads? We are finally back with another episode and when I say finally it's probably been a day but um, yeah the last video that I did was talking about meta formations, meta tactics and what works at the moment in eFootball 23. As I will repeat and I have been saying for the last couple of weeks the game is slightly I think in the favour of defensive minded players now and when I mean defensive minded players I'm not talking about the guys you're actually playing I'm talking about the players in game like Rudiger, Van Dijk, Up and Meccano um, pretty much any player that has a very high defensive awareness you'll see there Rudiger has got like 89 you'll see there that Van Dijk has got 93, Up and Meccano has got 80 so obviously there is a difference in the different players such as uh, Makalele with 90 or whatever um, and that is kind of the meta at the moment I think right so to to kind of have the yin to this yang right and have the anti-meta I have got three formations that I think will work to be able to kind of like um, kind of break that meta formation so if you haven't watched my last video which was talking about the meta formations um, and you're wondering what it's all about they're the formations that work most effectively I think with the way that the gameplay currently is and with the with, with, with the actual informed players the players that are dominating online at the moment such as Alaba, Rudiger van Dijk and pretty much anyone who's up in form um defensively uh Rudiger's obviously in a form this week and he's got really good defensive stats um Van Dijk is down but he is unwavering form so I have a load of videos covering all of that but focusing on the meta formations is the last video this is the anti-meta formations and there is a couple of similarities between obviously both videos so for this first one that we're going to look at we're going to look at the top three um we're not going to focus too much on tactics and stuff because I will cover that in a future video. I'll touch on it a little bit just to give a bit of background on it or whatever. But the main thing you need to focus on at the moment if you are struggling to play online and you're finding that your play style isn't being rewarded or you're finding that you're really struggling against guys that are playing extremely direct, you know, like literally the game is favoring people that just like pass, 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 like literally one touch pass, um, you know, or maybe touch and go and that they barely have the ball for like more than a second. You know what I mean? They're not dribbling, they're not turning, they're not slowing down the pace, they're not changing the acceleration of the players. It's literally just pass, 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 pass. And if you are a good player and you can do that very effectively, very efficiently and very quickly without getting caught in possession, you're going to win more often than not, you know, so you're going to dominate other play other players, um, especially if you get up to divisions. So for this formation and for this video, I think it's as equally important uh, the players that you have in your team rather than the last video. It's all about kind of the formation and stuff. This video is important to have the positioning and the formations and the individual tactics and stuff of players. But I think that the actual personnel, your starting 11, is key if you want to stop somebody from absolutely dominating you. Or if you find that you're struggling against like a 4-3-3, um, uh, where you've got three strikers to contend with, this is kind of, you know, these formations can kind of stop that. So the first thing that we are going to look at is a 5-3-2. Now we did have a 5-3-2 or a 5-2-3 uh, meta formation in the other video. So check that out as well. But for this 5-3-2, all we are going to be focusing on here is having a flat five at the back. And then we're going to be attacking with Alaba in our individual instructions. We're going to go to Ankren on uh, Alaba here but then our attack is also going to be offensive with um, Kimmich, our right back. Now we can switch this around if you want to attack with Alaba and be defensive with Kimmich, or if you want to attack with both, depending on your skill level. And then all we all also want to do is just leave everything the way it is. Uh, De Jong and Goretzka are going to be our main kind of like bringing the ball forward. So what we'll want to do here, focusing on this using a long ball counter, is if you are playing against a guy with three strikers or you're playing against a guy that's very comfortable on the ball passing around, um, we want to overturn him in possession. We want to get him on the break and we're going to want to shoot a quick counter past Makalele into De Jong or Goretzka and then into Haaland or Romario or whoever you choose to have up front, right? As I said, it is vitally important who you actually have in your starting 11. So for this formation, you could even put Neymar up there and have him as an SS if you wanted to have that boost there to Neymar's play style and stuff. Um, or also we could just have that one-two punch of having Haaland or Lewandowski up there. Um, or we could even have Messi up there. But yeah, usually I go for one tall, one small. Um, but balance and kind of physical contact and stuff up front is not really as important. So you need somebody that's good in the air for crosses. Even though you're not playing wingers here, you will be manually choosing to go a little bit out wide with the young and Goretzka when you do have the ball to bring in Neymar and Romario in and again 
your skill level comes into that. I mean, you know, somebody could use this formation and have no hope with it. Somebody could use this formation and score five, six goals a game. It depends on your skill level, but that goes without saying, I suppose. Um, but this does kind of cover a lot because what you're doing here is you have got a very, very, very <laughs> solid back uh, six here, basically, where the young Goretzka, you can manually drag them back. Makalele is going to always be in that position. And then you've got Rudiger up in Meccano and Van Dijk. So as long as you're not rushing and you're sticking to the line um, and you're holding your line, uh, you will not really get caught in the break too often with that formation. So moving on to the second one we do have here, uh, we have anti-meta number two. We've got a 3 4 to one uh, which is a modified 3-6-1, right? So 3-6-1 is kind of like... Midfield is very non-existent, really, in a lot of the gameplay breakdowns and a lot of the a lot of the actual like patterns of play online. Because usually, as I said, what you're going to want to do is when you get the ball and you overturn it with your defenders, whether it's a left-back, right-back, or any of your centre-backs, you're going to want to get the ball like up the pitch as soon as possible. Like That's what it is. You're not going to be passing around the middle of the pitch like you do in real football because the balance is, at the moment, just about getting the ball quickly, catching your opponent on quick counter or else long ball counter, and then getting the ball into the box, squaring it or cutting it back. Um, or finesse shotting or whatever like the dribbling the like wing play that's kind of been a little bit nerfed with the last patch for eFootball 23 hopefully they do fix it I'm hoping that they do because that's how I play um, but for this the main thing that you want to do here right because yeah you'll say right well why would I play three at the back instead of five at the back well I'll tell you why right and it is the main reason here is for these individual instructions so what we want to do here is we want to have deep line on Makalele, right, number one, we also want to have deep line on Vieira, okay, or else we can have deep line on uh, Kimmich, who's going to be our central midfielder there, and he's going to play as a right back or a left back or whatever way you want to put it. We also have anchoring on Vieira as well. So what we effectively want to do here is we want to keep the ball between the two channels, which are the back three, Van Dijk up in Meccano and Rudiger, Vieira, Makalele and Modric, and then our Kimmich, and then have Modric, Neymar and Ronaldinho kind of rotating in around. So when we look at our sub tactic that we're going to use here, this is what we're going to be flicking on uh, when we actually have possession of the ball. So when we don't have possession of the ball, we're going to be sticking to this very rigid 3-4-2-1. When we do have possession of the ball or we're chasing the game, we want to get an early lead, um, we're going to be like bringing in wingers into it or like left and right midfielders. So what we will be doing with this one is with the sub tactic, we are going to be moving Neymar out here. And we're going to be putting Modric in here. And we're going to have Neymar on that left midfielder position. Kimmich is still going to stay there. And with this individual instructions then, because we are using the sub-tactic here, with this formation as well, with this sub-tactic, we're going to have Ankren on Vieira. We're going to have deep line on Vieira. And then what we're also going to do is put deep line on um, Kimmich as a right back. So Kimmich is going to stay in his position there. And we also can put Ankren on Kimmich as well if we do want uh, to have him in that slot so when he is in the right midfielder position we want Kimmich kind of playing more this role here right so we have our back our front three we're going to want Kimmich here so when we don't have our sub tactic on it's going to be like this right where Kimmich is playing CMF Modric is playing CMF we're keeping that midfield very solid we're like stopping the passing lanes go through um, or whatever we have ball playing players on the pitch as well now one thing I will say as well is that like if you look at Modric's card and this is what I'm talking about you need to look at the players and stuff Modric does have interception which is very 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 vital for this uh, formation but if you do want to have even more cover you could have somebody like like let's say we could have Alaba in there right Alaba is a CMF um, as well he can play CMF he's one of the best players in the game and Alaba has all these all these kind of like um player skills as well but he's also got true passing he's also got a slide tackle interception and all that if we do want to put in somebody that has the blocker as well we could put that in uh, but i think that that could be overkill so i think that that three four uh two one and then obviously with the sub tactic we flip that on by pressing our up up or down in the d-pad i think it's down in the d-pad we're going to take that where we're basically playing with three lines of three we've got our back three our mid three our forward three and then romario up front so i hope that makes sense to you guys and then last but not least this is one i think that is probably one of the most meta at the moment which is a 5-4-1 now the one thing i'll say about this is right you are not going to score a lot of goals with this formation, at least breakaway goals. All you'd want to be doing here is creating very solid chances and be a very patient player. If you're a possession-based player, 
or an out wide base player and this might suit you because you have to do a lot manually the game won't this formation won't hold your hand as much because what we're going to want to be doing is again holding this sub tactic here right so when we use the sub tactic you'll see there that the players are moving forward slightly but what we want to do with the sub tactic here is basically have roberto carlos in a very advanced role and then push these boys back as much as we can to overload that side of the pitch that's kind of what we want to do so we're modifying the formation yet again and we're putting Goretzka still there Makalele is still there so when we're not using our sub tactic and we never might need to use the sub tactic if we get an early goal but if we are chasing a goal or just 10 minutes before half time uh, if we want to kind of confuse our opponent and I will do a video on sub tactic and why you should be using it quite soon but this is a very kind of like trippy formation because what you do is when you're starting off and somebody's looking at this and they're saying, oh my God, this guy's going to be super, super, super defensive, right? But when you switch to the 4-1-4-1, uh, one, one, you are basically attacking down the left side, overloading the left side of midfield with Carlos and Modric. And then you're going to have Goretzka and Kimmich as your backup there on your right. So you're still keeping your shape of your main players like Makalele, Vieira and your back three. But you're really attacking with Carlos and keeping him as your kind of like a winger basically. So that is it for another video lads. Let me know if these help you. Let me know if you've got any suggestions or let me know if there's a formation that is working really well for you that I haven't really covered yet. And I can go in and review it and see what uh, other people think about it. But yeah, until next time lads, don't forget to subscribe. I've got a bit of a cold. I uh, hope it's not COVID because I do feel a little bit under the weather, but hopefully I'll be able to bring a couple of more videos soon. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and uh, happy eFootball, I suppose. <laughs>